Hello everyone. So we have almost finished our Nest.js testing journey. We have covered almost all different kind of use cases for the Nest.js testing. Unit testing and end-to-end -end testing with the different ORMs. In the last video, we are talking about Nest.js end-to-end testing with the type ORM and we are going to run the test suite. So there is a special case where we want to truncate the database tables like reload the type ORM database tables and clean up the database tables after every test suit run. And we will also take a look on how we can do, how we can mock the authentication to test the APIs end to end. I mean, to if we are not mocking the authentication, then every time you need to log in, you need to get the token and then you need to hit the APIs. So there is a way you can mock the, even the APIs, you can mock the authentication service so that uh, you don't need to just do the login every time you can just mock users and run and run the actual end-to-end -end test with the actual database and here we are going to target the test database we are going to run the migrations we are going to run all the end-to-end -end tests again test against test database and the same thing we can set up in the ci cd pipeline also so what is the overall objective of uh, this end-to-end -end test cases so here we are writing nsjs with end-to-end -end test cases with the type orm and the whole objective is to run the test suit and after every test suit I'm running, I should be able to uh, truncate the database tables through the tests. And I should be able to target the test database through the environment variables. We have a API database and test database, but when I'm running the test cases, I should be able to hit the test database. So here we will be running the test suit like uh, end to end test suit 1, end to end test suit 2. And after every test suit, I should be able to reload the database fixtures, seed the database and whatever the data has been inserted by test suit one, I should be able to clean it. So there is a clear isolation of data between test suit and you should be able to write more clean, more uh, trustworthy end to end test cases in this approach. So the test suits are like this. Uh, maybe I have a user CRUD, create user, update user, delete user. This is the test suit one. So after the test suit is done, I should be able to truncate all the database tables. So while you are doing a test suit one, my table is already empty and there is no existing user with the same email or whatever. Now I do a create user two, create user three and delete user two. At the end of the test suit two, I still have a one user left in the system. So I can assert, okay, the, the total count of the users is still one. Now you can just uh, run the test suit three and then do some more operations okay like okay i'm just doing create user one two three and at that i should have a total count of the users in the list api is total three so this is important with the test suit that is the advantage that you know what database actually contains so in this example we have a simple entity restaurant controller let's say which has a simple crud operations and here we have migrations logger database we are using a type or a module it is connecting to the database table and then this is the domain here we have a restaurant controller restaurant entity and restaurant service and inside the restaurant service we have all these basic basic methods which is like restaurant search restaurant create restaurant update and restaurant delete so like create restaurant here we are using a query runner and we are just creating a restaurant it could have done without doing transaction maybe earlier i was having more code here so now create restaurant update restaurant delete restaurant that is actually the api endpoint and search restaurant those are already exposed through the nest just controller now what we need to do how we can simply write the end-to-end -end tests for them so this is the restaurant crud already we have we also have a auth middleware in this whole process right so what do we have is authentication already enabled, but authentication is not provided by in-house. It is like, okay, you will be getting token from once the authentication is done and trying to hit the restaurant APIs. So token is externalized. What we have here is that while accessing this whole system, whole API system, you will be passing the authorization token. If the token is not there, I'm just sending you a missing auth header, which is bad request. Otherwise, I will be validating that uh, using init method. So here currently I'm not doing it. I'm just mocking it. But actually how it works is let's say you are sending an auth zero token. 
then this auth service dot init should really validate okay what is the token is valid or not or something like that but there is one important aspect about the testing so let's say your application has authentication and you are writing end to end test cases so every time you have to log in get the token and then pass the token to the your actual apis while writing end to end tests but we can fix it you don't need to really do the authentication every time what you can do is sometimes the application authentication system is totally different and you cannot do those kind of tests here so what we will do in the in the end to end tests we can mock your authentications end to end completely so you don't need to worry about getting the token from somewhere we can mock the token we can just you can just pass the random string and what that string will contain is that string uh, because we are overriding this init method of auth service and we will say okay whatever you send just send the some string and we will return you the user id so that is what happening here this init method is just returning a mock user id and uh, that this is how we are already uh, overriding the authentication in this system so we can write end to end tests peacefully there is no we are not currently dealing with the, dealing with the uh, any kind of authentication system where we have to validate and check the validity of the token coming to the apis but if we need to override it we can write it something like this let's say the o overall logic is there in the auth service to validate the token uh, maybe you are getting the token from auth zero service and here we have written the proper logic to validate the token and check the token expiry and everything so what we can do is we can override we can provide the mock service something like this and here there is a init method so we can just provide our mock implementation of init method here in this uh, process so provide auth service and this is the use value so whenever you are going to call init i am going to return you this mock user id for all your it end to end tests so using this we have actually bypassing we are actually bypassing the end to end tests bypassing the authentication sorry so to reach to the controller and routes what do we have in the request life cycle we have middleware we have guards and here we are using middleware what the middleware is doing is checking okay you are passing authorization header with the jwt token if yes the token is valid and representing a valid user okay then you can go and access the routes so here this is how we are setting up the end to end tests api we even have this is health check we are doing so create testing module importing app module and then creating nest application and then it is using super test request app dot get http server will give you the server and then you can just do a dot get dot put dot post and just you can expect an assert so the basic testing and here is this is our restaurant api end to end test so here the important thing is test utils so i'm using a specific library test util or the specific code which i'm going to run after each execution of the test and test utils are doing nothing but because we already know how many entities we have we can write a simple utility that will actually do the truncate of the type orm entities so here i have created this database service with the database module that is providing these different utility methods get repository get all repository with metadata and the close the connection get repository because before truncating that entity or we need to either get all repository i trade them or get a single entity and then do the run the query on that so here we have written test utils so first of all we need to check that node environment is set as test because we are going to hit these queries against the actual database and we need to make sure that we are hitting the test database not the api database otherwise you will just truncate all the tables okay here we are getting all the entities and then we are calling reload fixture reload fixture is first cleaning all and then loading all cleaning all is just truncating the tables one by one by looping on to all the entities you got the entity then get the repository and do the clean and here it is a load fixture is nothing but let's say you are already have predefined set of records which you want to insert in the restaurant inside a user table 
the reload fixture will help you to seed the data it's like a seed reload fixture means nothing but how you are able to reload the data in the database table after cleanup so there is some test data we always create right and here is our tests what we are doing is we are doing a override provider auth service and we are overriding the implementation of init method of auth service that is giving you the mock value using test util dot get random number because in your actual code you will be validating the token but here i am running end to end tests and i can play with i can play with uh, overriding the init and giving you the random user object with the okay user id auth id or something like that so here you can see we are using the providers test utils and database service because test util and database service we are going to use heavily and here you can say we are using await test util dot reload fixture what actually it will do is it will actually help us in cleaning up the database after every task task execution and auth provider we are already overriding to bypass the authentication process with our mock token so now i can write a simple end to end test for the restaurant here you can see what i'm doing is app dot get http server and hitting the the restaurant post restaurant delete update or list all the restaurant so here let's fix the post grid database url and what i'm doing is npm run test what actually npm run test should do according to you it should be able to run the test migration right because we need to populate the tables in the test database so we should be able to hit the actual apis on to the test database so as we discussed there is a middleware also so what we will do is we will try to protect our apis except the health check api we are going to protect all the apis with this authentication middleware which is checking okay you should pass the key token uh, in the authorization header the access token and that should be valid currently we are just providing a mock view implementation of it and this auth middleware is available for all excluding one public route which is a health check route so that also we can do the testing that okay when you are hitting health check route you are getting the successful response and when you are hitting the restaurant api endpoint then you are getting unauthorized until unless you are not passing the actual authorization header okay so simple test that if if authorization header is present it will allow you to access if not it should give you unauthorized so here we need to fix an nest just dependency that uh, auth middleware should be a part of application module that we will fix now we also have to import the auth module so this is the fix we are doing we have added auth module in the domain module and we have also added auth middleware because auth middleware is injectable we need to add it in the providers and we have to add auth module so that we should be able to access auth service in the auth middleware just a nest js yes, resolving the dependencies so we need to pass the authorization header if that is not a public route and how can we set authorization header you can just use a simple uh, request http app dot get http server dot post restaurant and then dot set so dot set is actually used to set the cookies authorization header all these properties and then dot send restaurant so the first test test suit is create restaurant and then get restaurant and the length should be one here let's say, let's say i'm increasing the the length of the restaurant here i'm creating a two restaurant i'm passing the auth token so there there should be i'm just doing a get first i'm creating and then i'm getting it in the second test case what i'm doing is i'm just trying to simply get it so why there is a length 0 because we have test utils in the second test suit we have already truncated the database tables so when you are trying to get the restaurant your table is still empty and you the length of the restaurant you are getting is 0 so some of our test case is failing let's check i think at the end point we need to check it's health not api v1 health so if you see we will just replace it to health because this is the url we are excluding so that is important what which endpoint you are excluding forward slash health right so change your health check uh, controller and point to the same endpoint forward slash health and then 
add the same in your test cases because this is the url where you can x x hit it without setting the authorization header and it should giving you the status code 200 now the test case should pass this is the the public endpoint we have so let's try to test that uh, what what will happen when we are creating multiple restaurant and getting the length of the restaurant so database is clean before running the second test suit that's why the restaurant length is zero in the second test suit so we will create the restaurant here we are creating two restaurants so the length should be two finally restaurant one restaurant two response and response two so length should be two instead of one and here currently the database is clean right the length is currently zero so what we will do is we will just try to create one restaurant so initially uh, the the length is zero and then we will create a restaurant and the length will become one this is a simple test suit to make sure that your database table are getting cleaned up properly so here response two response three response two dot status is 201 now finally we are creating one restaurant after checking that and now the length should be one this is a simple test suit initially the length zero now you created it and the length now become one here you are creating two restaurants so the length is two so here this all these things are getting executed and this is the overall test suit which i was talking to validate that we are executing these test suit on the runtime and this database cleanup is happening 